240. Now Chino muscles up. 240,000. Well, Argerwal decided to give Chino a free card, and, and Chino says, nah, why would I want a free card? Life is too short. Plus, maybe I can pick up the pot right here. Argerwal with the best hand. Pocket fives. Yeah, but those pocket fives don't look as good now. Plus, of course, he's up against the big stack. Augerwall folds. Chino correctly sent some insecurity in his opponent. Fired a big bet to win the hand, making that the planter's good instinct moment. I love this guy. Plays so like me. I love him. High praise from the mouth as Chino Reem has found his rhythm. The planter's good instinct moment is brought to you by Planters. Instinctively good. Welcome back to the main event at the Rio 2006 Player of the Year. Jeff Madsen's all in after the flop. Madsen in trouble with King 10 against Victor Ramden's pair of aces. Madsen needs runner-runner to prolong his main event. Turn card is a four of diamonds. Madsen doesn't get it. That will end this main event for Jeff Madsen. Victor Ramden doing the deed. He's got 1.8 million chips. Seems like Madsen's been around forever, but he still could become the youngest main event champion if he wins next year. On the E-Trade Financial Tournament ticker, you see only 111 players are left in the main event. Amazingly, two of those players have known each other since elementary school. Dean Hamrick grew up in Michigan and started playing poker as a teenager with his childhood buddy who is now sitting nearby. Justin Scott, a World Series bracelet winner in 2006. Justin has just bet enough to put opponent Kelly Kim all in after the flop. Kim, a pro from Whittier, California. Will call and put himself at risk. Scott shows ace 10. Kim leads with a pair of jacks. Scott with a flush draw. Turn card is a 10. That pair is Scott. Scott now can knock out Kim with a 10 or a heart. River card is an ace of clubs. And Kelly Kim will win the hand and double up to Justin Scott. Kim, a 36-year-old former business analyst turned poker pro. All right, let's get back over to table two. Tiffany Michelle sitting there. Of course, one of three women left in the field. She's watching her friend, Alex Althred, tangle with two others at this table. Althred has a pair of sixes. Tim Lockie leads the hand with a pair of queens. And Thomas Keller, now at this table, has a straight draw. The betting on the turn has Althred putting out 140000 Keller folds. Lockie makes the call with his leading ladies. And the amateur continues to mix it up with the poker coach. Ace queen over there, Timbo. Guess that's why he's a poker coach. All right. Could be, he says, to the river. Uh, Deuce, Lockie earns the check mark. Althred first to act, and he's reaching for chips. I'll tell you, at the World Series of Poker Academy, Althred must spend an entire day instructing folks on bluffing the river. Althred bets 350000 you know what? I've had, a, I've had a great time at the World Series of Poker. You got me beat. Good for you. I call. A call. You have ace queen? Yeah. You're good. And Lockie will win the hand. That's a good feeling to sniff out a river bluff. Yeah. <laughs> Hope he doesn't hurt himself. Yes. Lockie is thrilled. Althred may have lost that hand, but once again showed an amazing ability to read his opponents. It's something he learned while working for the WPT. My job when I started the World Poker Tour, I would log every single card and every single play. I'd watch the action from four camera angles all at the same time. So I started to be able to notice how people reacted based on quality of hand and how confident they were and lack of confidence. I was really able to track betting patterns and how people did what they did. Lucky for me, there were some amazing players that made these final tables. So I learned from them on how to play other people and how to play the game. When I started, I played a lot like Gus Hansen because he was on all the time. And then later on, it was a bunch of different players, so I was kind of able to do a little chameleon style. I can play super tight like Dewey Tomko, or I can play wild and crazy like Gus Hansen, depending on, you know, what, what the situation called for. Well, I'll tell you, you can learn a lot by watching poker on TV. I mean, flat out. Lo and behold, it worked out for me. So I was able to apply it to my own game and make it happen. Althred also writes and performs poetry, so I imagine he's pretty good at identifying a poet on tilt. All right, back to the featured table where lead dog Mike Mattiso has been rather quiet. All right, boys and girls. I'm sick of sitting here like an idiot. Let's see it. The cards are coming right now, gosh dang it. Ow, I just broke my hand. <laughs> 
All right, action on Kara Scott. Kara looks down at King Queen offsuit. Kara, yet another poker broadcaster who plays better poker than me, looks better than me, and probably is better socially adjusted than me. <laughs> raise. King Queen is raise. good for a raise to 60,000. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Okay. Of what? I don't know. That is so with 10 tray. The mouth, card dead, and dying a slow death. Action over to Fee Win now. In the big blind. Ace 10 of diamonds. And he's taking a close look at Kara Scott's chip stack. All right, let's see the flop. He'll just call for 40,000. Win and Scott to the flop. Flop is four king ace. Fee Win hits top pair. Kara Scott, middle pair. Fee Win check. Kara, by the way, is a, a former high school teacher. That's a pretty good high school. Grew up in Canada, moved to the UK to work in TV. And Kara Scott will bet 100000 with her pair of kings. A win is a casino host at Hawaiian Gardens in the Los Angeles area. And he's going to raise it. And that gets Kara's attention. 180. Check raise to 280000 total. Tough spot for Kara, but my gal once was a Thai boxer. She can handle herself. I'm all in. Kara is going to push all in with second pair. Well, she's got to hope to push Fee Win off his hand. I'm in too deep. I'm in too deep. Uh, that's I'm bad news for Kara. Fee Win needs 167,000 more to call, and he does. Kara Scott at risk. My damsel's in distress, and I'm helpless to help her. She'll need something in a hurry. And word reaches Tiffany Michelle that another lady is in danger. Good bad news spreads fast. All right, turn card now. Kara Scott at risk. It is a five of diamonds. No help to Scott. No help to Kara. I think if she gets knocked out, I'm going to ask for this game. No, Lisa Parsons is still playing. Kara's going to need a king or a queen. River is a six, and that's going to do it. Kara Scott eliminated in 104th place for the main event. Me too. Thanks very much. It's been a great run for Kara Scott Chad. V Win plays the villain. Okay. Been lovely playing with you. Kara Scott finishes third among the women, and as Tiffany returns to table two, she's apparently gleeful to see another woman knocked out. Back at the Rio, where 103 players remain in the main event. Maybe I'll get a card rush. Power of positive thinking, Mike. Beat, I told you. Yeah, I, I, I thought yeah. you could have just had like. You, you know, ever heard of that get out of jail free get out of jail free card? I'm just trying to get out of jail. Yeah. Mike, you're already out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I've been there too, buddy. Madison's legal issues have been well documented. As for Chino, in 2000, he was sentenced to four months in jail for burglary, larceny, and possession of marijuana. And in 2003, he was charged with trespassing. Certainly both he and Madison hope their legal troubles are behind them. Action on Christian Dragomir, King 7 suited. Dragomir says he loves the mouth. I think he's actually a lot feistier than Madison in terms of hand selection. And he's going to raise it to 55000 And like Chino, Dragomir, as you mentioned, not adverse to playing creative hands aggressively. Chino with ace-jack offsuit. Yeah, Chino will play any two cards, and those are two pretty good ones. A call from the small blind. Owen Crow from Nova Scotia. Five deuce of hearts. Crow is a former poker dealer. And for 35000 more from the big blind, he'll make the call. Three players to the flop. The flop is deuce, deuce, ace. How about that for a cheap big blind?